Georgia trend, and was that for this month's issue? Mm -hmm. it is, this month's issue um, was out. It was a regional piece, so all of southwest Georgia was interviewed. So um, there were several communities. It wasn't just Valdosta, but Andrea was interviewed for that piece as well. So you got quoted in it? Yes. For the December issue. All right, so everybody read your December Georgia trend. Thank you very much. Yeah, Alan, project report. Madam Chairman, Board, uh, I'll just highlight uh, some items from our existing industry project report. We'll start with uh, a couple of new projects. Project Napoleon, which is a medical device packaging project. Uh, that is a Georgia Department of Economic Development sponsored project. We're working uh, with them now uh, to develop that project. Uh, it is a very interesting potential project for us and could have a uh, projected capital investment of about 7.5 million and 20 jobs. So we'll keep you posted as that develops. Uh, we answered a uh, fairly complex uh, and complete project baseball, which is advanced manufacturing RFP. That again is a Georgia Fort Economic Development sponsored project which could bring a, a significant capital investment and number of jobs in the community. We, uh, we sent that RFP off last Thursday, and so it's been received and it's in process. So we'll keep you apprised of that project. Uh, project Maroon is bioscience. You, you're aware of that project. Uh, it's in progress and on schedule, so I won't say much else about that. Uh, project Harvest, we've talked about that project before. In some depth, it is in progress and on schedule. Uh, I would like to say a few things about Project Express Scripts. That project for this first phase has been completed, created 135 jobs in the community. Uh, good paying jobs with a good benefits package. Those folks are now up and, uh, and working with Express Scripts. And we've completed the preliminary planning for the next phase of that project, which would begin in May or June of 2014, working with the Georgia Department of Labor. We would expect uh, approximately another 125 jobs uh, out of that project. So that was a, a very good project. Have you got any feedback on the, the employees that they've gotten in the house working? In? It's working very well. Uh, they, the company has been uh, very complimentary about uh, the workforce draw from our community and the interest in the project and the caliber of folks that they were able to get. And that's why they want to come back. What, what are the skill levels they're looking for? Um, they are looking for uh, skill levels that uh, have good, um, good contact, good phone skills, good computer skills, and folks that have a flexible work schedule. So that's really the, the primary. They basically work from their homes too. Yes, they do work from their homes. They're providing an equipment package to work from their homes. So it's a good project. Um, we'll, you can see the existing industry uh, visit schedule there, uh, the companies that we work with, as we're always looking to identify issues and help them resolve issues or look for opportunities for growth and expansion. Uh, we'll just highlight a couple of those. Project Wire, of which you are familiar with that project, it's in progress and on schedule. Uh, I would tell you that Project Treadway is in progress and on schedule. Mr. Gupton and I have worked uh, this past week on an economic development agreement and indenture of lease for that project. Uh, we've worked the real and personal property tax reduction schedule with the tax assessor. You have all been through the project. Uh, so we'll be ready to bring you some documentation for final review and approval in January for that project. Um, project PowerTech, um, Mr. Gupton and I have also worked with the company this past couple of weeks uh, developing a personal property tax or reduction schedule for personal property that could be uh, installed to support that project. It's about a $2 million capital investment and some good job growth. Um, and. Uh, Project uh, trip, uh, Double X Squared is in progress and on schedule and, and moving forward uh, appropriately. And finally, Project GH2013, uh, especially product formulation and packaging. Uh, we've completed the initial work on the economic development agreement and the indenture of lease discussions with the uh, tax assessor's office on real and personal property tax reduction. So we'll be bringing that to you 
in January for final review and approval. So that project is, is moving along now. So um, if all goes well, we have five projects there that could close first quarter? That could move into first quarter of next year. And those are very good expansions for our existing industry. Good, uh, good capital investments and good job growth. And I'll kind of build upon Alan's report. You know, Alan usually has um, more industry visits, but he's been inundated with working on these projects. So um, that's a, you know, we want to keep, we keep in touch with our existing industries, but the project activity has picked up. So therefore, you know, we're keeping up and maximized a lot of his time between existing industries and projects. So. And we'll do two more existing industry visits this week. So that's, uh, that'll give us time. But several of these projects are, in fact, also existing industries, yes. so they yes, we can kind of double count them. Yeah. <laughs> Do I understand one of these involves uh, a, a rail site? Uh, yes, one of these involves a rail site. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, we'll move on to our community business and industry partnership. Um, and I'd just like to mention to you that uh, our next event will be uh, the Georgia Logistics Summit. This is just a little visual here to highlight that. We're planning uh, for attendance and sponsorship with our local logistics and distribution industries to this event on March the 18th and 19th. It is a world-class event, and it is a great opportunity for, uh, for our local logistics distribution businesses. Um, let me also mention business park signage. You saw this picture at our board meeting in November. I show it to you again to tell you that uh, the marquee signage you see on the left is now installed in all of our parks except for one, and that is in Lake Park. And we have selected a better location uh, for the signage there, and we're doing a little bit of clearing with our landscape folks to make sure that it has a good prominent visual location when we put it there. Uh, we anticipate that that final marquee sign will be up by mid-January. And then the sign that you see on the uh, on the right, which is the industrial property available signage, those are now being fabricated and those are the companion signs for marquee signs. So you will now see those uh, and the other signs that are in the park, you will see those come down. So that's uh, where we are with our park signage. Uh, they really look good if you haven't had an opportunity to take a look at them. Um, 